ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I could not believe this when this came out. So everybody knows about the PMB Rock situation where he was killed. Um at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And at that point, remember, a lot of people were saying it was a girlfriend's fault. She had posted the location, soon he was killed, things like that. Well, now it's come out that it definitely was not her fault. This father and son just happened to, you know, see them. Like I was saying, how do we know them? People weren't ready. Go back and watch my first stream about the PNB situation. I said, I said, how do we know that the people who killed them weren't already there? How do we know they didn't get a phone call and say, you know, look who's here? So sadly, it was almost like a set of coincidences, right? She posts the location. They have no idea that there's people outside who see him go into this location. And I believe he rode up there in a very expensive car. I might be wrong, but people are saying he was in a Rolls Royce, which is going to stand out like a sore thumb in that area. So they have now found the, the killers. They are charging three people. I want to show you guys two news clips. It is so disheartening, especially as a, just watching this, because you have one job as a parent, and these parents definitely failed their child. So let me go ahead and um, play this clip for you guys here. Give me just a second. It's two different clips I had to play. Okay. So this is the first one I want y'all to see. Stepmother, they're being charged with murder of rapper PNB Rock. He was shot and killed during a robbery at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle in South LA earlier this month. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo has more on the trio of suspects. She joins us now live from Compton. Christy. Now, one of the suspects, Chantel Trone, was arraigned here at the Compton Courthouse earlier today. The 17-year-old, whose name is not being released because he is a minor, was also arraigned in juvenile court. And his father was on the run until today. A family under arrest, 40-year-old Freddie Trone, no longer a fugitive, caught by police in Las Vegas. The LAPD says he was the getaway driver and his 17-year-old son was the gunman who earlier this month shot and killed. Rapper PMB Rock, while he was eating lunch at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in South LA with his girlfriend. The LAPD believes the duo was after the rapper's expensive jewelry and may have been tipped off to his whereabouts by a social media post. His murder provoking outrage and calls for justice. He was a guest in our community and was gunned down, gunned down by cowardly acts. Also likely to turn heads? Fox 11 has learned the alleged teen gunman was just out of jail and wearing an ankle monitor, which should have gone off once he left his home. Court's going to go on the record, call the matter of people, which is Chantel Trone. Also in custody, Freddie Trone's 38-year-old wife, Chantel, who choked back tears during her arraignment in Compton. Police have not said her involvement, but she pled not guilty to charges of being an accessory after the fact. Chantel Trone is due back in court on October 13th. As for Freddie Lee Trone, he could be arraigned as early as tomorrow. Now, we did. Let me play the next video, y'all. Are shedding light on the killing of rapper PNB Rock. Gigi Gracia joins us here in studio now with the latest details. I, I, I am just overwhelmed by the number of details that have been coming out about this case. That a lot of which you, you know, is a result of your own digging. And certainly some really sad details in the last moments of PNB Rock's life. Both Freddie Lee Trone, who had been on the run from police but was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday, and his 17-year-old son have been charged with murder in the death of the rapper. Although prosecutors say it was the teenager who actually killed him. And we are learning more about what happened that fateful day. Now, the felony complaint starts with a mystery man in red. He has yet to be identified. 
but prosecutors say he saw PNB Rock and his girlfriend arrive at Roscoe's wearing expensive jewelry. From the wording, it appears he may have been inside the restaurant. He then waits outside until Freddie Lee Trone is seen arriving. The two men talk outside Roscoe's. Trone then leaves, but he returns shortly with his 17-year-old son this time, who prosecutors say was armed with a gun. Trone drops him off a short distance away from Roscoe's. Trone Jr. then goes inside, walking straight to the table where the rapper and his girlfriend were sitting, eating, pointing a gun at them, prosecutors allege, and saying, give me all of your jewelry now. The very next item on the timeline has the teen shooting PNB Rock in the chest, just like that. And after he fell to the ground, prosecutors say the teenager shot him two more times this time in the back. The felony complaint goes on to say the teenager then pointed the gun at PNB's girlfriend, Steph, saying, quote, show me your hands, give me that blank right now. I swear to God, I shoot you in the head. The teen then robbed her, took her jewelry, and the complaint says that as the rapper lay dying on the floor of the restaurant, the teenager robbed him too, taking his chains and watch, and pulling his rings off of his fingers. Now the timeline in the complaint ends with the father driving back to Roscoe's to pick up his son and then they went home. But prosecutors say they parked blocks away and as they walked, the teenager got rid of his shoes and his shirt. There is no mention of that social media post from PNB's girlfriend that tagged them eating at Roscoe. Although police say they're still investigating. As for the man in red, well, they're looking for him too. All right. So let me come back on the screen here. Yeah, I just watched both of those um, stories. I think the whole situation is heartbreaking. And I think what's even more sad is the fact that there's so many people involved. You know, it's one thing if it was just this 17-year-old acting on his own behalf. But the fact that the father saw the rapper first and then called his son to, you know, come and rob him. And for whatever reason, the son just thought it was just better to just shoot him. You know, it's just really disturbing because, again, as a parent, your job is to parent your child. Your job is to lead your child in the right direction. And obviously, this father and this stepmother were not doing that. The father, I believe, was about 38 years old. His son is 17, meaning he had him about around the age of 15. I think that they said the daddy's. No, the dad they're saying is 32, I believe. Yeah. Of the stepmom. I don't know. Somebody's damn young in the situation. The stepmom is 32. How old is the dad's age? Either way, they're in their early 30s with a 17-year-old, meaning they were very young teens when this child was born. And it seems like they've just led him astray instead of actually parenting. The news said that he was already on probation, okay? He already had an ankle monitoring bracelet on him, meaning that he has been out here committing crimes, you know what I'm saying, doing all types of nefarious shit. And instead of them staying on top of him, making sure to keep him out of trouble, you guys lead him into trouble? Okay, the daddy's 40. Okay, so the, the mama is younger. Okay, there's a few different ages on there. But either way, it's just very disturbing to see that a parent, two parents are involved in this. Like, this is insane to me. You know, and they're saying that the son is a juvenile and, and all this and that. To me, charge them all as adults, which they definitely will with the father and the mother. But the son also, you know, and thank God his girlfriend wasn't killed because this boy was on some, you know, on some homicidal maniac shit. He could have easily just, you know, killed PMB, killed the baby, killed the, the girlfriend just because, you know, and it is just really disturbing that L.A. has gotten this bad. And it's only getting attention, right, because it's a rapper that's killed. So imagine all the regular people day to day in L.A. and in other major cities just going about their daily lives and they're getting stuck up by people and killed. Like none of this was worth it. He could have easily took that boy's jury and then just kept it moving. But it's almost like he had to, like, take his life for some reason. And that's like the most evil part. Even the fact that not only did he take his life, but before he left, he shot him two more times. So he can't even say there was an accident or the gun accidentally went off and then proceeded to rob him. So it's almost like, was this a setup? You know, did they, I, I don't know. I just feel like, was this a hit possibly? And then you have the younger person do it so that way they can possibly get less time. Cause of course they're thinking they're not going to get caught. Because it's just very odd that they took it 
to that extreme. It's one thing to rob them and you're robbing him in a public place with a bunch of people around. But the fact that they went all the way there where they not only robbed him, but killed him. And then before he left, he shot him two more times to make sure he was dead. So I, I don't know. It just seems like there's more. Yeah, I'm glad y'all are getting set up vibes too. It seems like there's just more to the story. Um, but either way, it's unfortunate because, you know, this young man has lost his life. He's never going to make another song. He's never going to be there for his children. So the whole thing is really sad. And matter of fact, what was so interesting, if you guys don't know, this was about a week ago. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Big Trail, he was robbed. His home was robbed for thousands of dollars. I want to say close to a million. Um, and Big Trail came out with a message. Let me see if I can find it. Because as we all know, Big Trail been out here dropping them robbery songs, honey. And then what you know, like I always tell y'all, the power of the tongue. He was rapping about robberies and everything else. And then a robbery happened at his own home. And so he started, you know, he was preaching some real shit. I got to respect that. Let me go ahead and um, play y'all this video. Oh, did I say Big Trump? I'm sorry. T Grizzly. I'm sorry. There's so many damn rappers. I can't keep up. T Grizzly. My bad. Here we go. I appreciate everybody reaching out, you know what I'm saying, checking on me and shit. I'm good, my family good, thank God. I just need y'all to do one thing for me though, man. Send a prayer up for PNB Rock and his kids, King Vine and his kids, and all the kids out here that gotta grow without their pops, you feel me? And I, I had to go through that, I grew without my pops because he was killed, you feel me? And that shit ain't easy at all. So send a prayers and we just gonna wish many blessings on them. Another thing I wanna share with the artists out here, <clears throat> We got to watch what we speaking into existence, man. I know we looking at it like we just making music, it's art and all this shit and that. But these words is powerful, bro. And just like we can speak some good shit into existence, we can speak some bad shit into existence. You feel me? So we got to really be careful what we saying about ourselves when we make this music, man. You know, speaking third person, create some characters or something like that and tell us, you know, shit like that. You got to be careful what we say out here. And, um, yeah, man, that's it. All right, so y'all just heard what T Grizzly had to say. And he was saying some real stuff. I don't know why I was calling him Big Trail. Sorry. He looked like a big trail. <laughs> I don't know why I was calling him Big Trail. <laughs> but um, he was saying some real stuff, though, because he had dropped that those songs, those robbery songs, and then the same thing happened to him. But, you know, thank God all they, you know, it sucks to be robbed, right? But at least he still has his life. You know, he's still okay. But it is getting really, really bad you know, in LA right now. It's, it's just getting really, really bad. And um, I just hope that people take this as like a lesson. I think at this point, if you're going to be in LA, you got to move smart. You just, you cannot be out here with just a bunch of jewelry on, rolling through the hood in a Rolls Royce. You know, not, this is not a case of blaming the victim because that's not what I'm doing. He's definitely blameless in this. But what I'm saying is for people that don't find themselves in the same situation is you definitely have to move smart. Because remember, when he walked into that restaurant, what was on him that was shining that caught the daddy's attention? The jury, the bling, you know? And if you've ever been around uh, rappers and industry people when they had them big chains, hell, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I've never seen so many diamonds. Like, it's, it's like, it's just like, <laughs> it like hypnotizes you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're up to no good and you're a stick up kid, that is like a calling card. So I'm sorry if you're going to go in certain areas, especially, you know, the hood and stuff like that, leave the jury at home, leave the jury at home. It makes no sense to wear all that stuff to go eat at at a, at a waffle place. It just doesn't. Just leave it at home. You know what I'm saying? I know rappers feel like they have to put on this whole rapper costume. That's cool if it's a safe environment, if it's an industry party, but not in the hood. You know. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.